Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to show you how you can easily improve your highest break in a lineup. I'm going to put some graphics on the screen which is going to show the different types of shots I'm playing. And if you can take the tips in this video, then I guarantee that you will improve on your lineup best break and it's also going to help you in frames of snooker as well. Now the skill to improving your high break in a lineup and even in a frame somewhat as well is getting used to finding natural angles and not doing anything too special with the cue ball if you can avoid it. So let's have a look here. So I'm going to play this red below the pink just to free up the pink spot a bit. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to display some counters on the screen, roll it in, stun uh, and screw shot. And what I'm trying to do here is find shots where I can just roll it in. So this red here is just a little tapping. I haven't had to use stun, nothing fancy. And this is really going to help you to um, improve your break. If you can start to think of it in this way. So this pink again, I can just roll in. And what I'm doing when I'm doing these routines is I'm looking all the time. My brain is in that default mindset of, is there a shot that I can just roll in? So here, there is again, I can play this red here and just roll through for the blue. So yeah, nothing fancy to do. So just a natural ball shot. Yeah, and that just rolls through for the blue. Then I'm looking at the blue, I've got tiny, tiny angles, so I can roll it on and off the cushion. So again, it's just a, a roll it in shot. I've got to pot it just to the right of the pocket, but that was okay. So I'm looking for a shot again. Is it possible to roll it in? It is actually in this instance, but I don't want to, just because I want to leave this red for if I get into a bit of trouble. It's a nice, if I land the wrong side of the blue, it's a nice backup at any point. So I'm going to play the one that's in front of me, but I am going to play this as a soft screw. So, yeah, just making the shot a bit more complicated, just because I'm, yeah, thinking about the future a little bit. Okay, so now I've got a good angle on the blue to just roll it in again, so I can just use my natural angle. On and off the cushion, always get on and off the cushion. Try not to avoid them, don't be scared of using the cushions. It really helps you to get the white back out in open play. So let's have a look. Is there a shot where I can roll the shot in? There are a couple of options here, none of which are going to leave me very good on a colour. So I'm gonna to choose to do something a bit different here um, and I'm going to screw back for the pink. So just a little screw back to make sure I land good. Yeah, had to be judged nicely there, but now I'm back in good position. Pink is just a rolling, so yeah, I'm just roll it in. So you can see that I'm just trying to find, yeah, the simplest route to, to break building all the time. Okay, this red here, I can just, again, roll it in. I'm going to be on the black, nothing fancy to do. Yeah, nicely on it. This black here, I'm going to actually, I am going to roll it in because I can get to this red and that just removes one of the, the hard reds there, so. Yeah, and if I go through far enough, I'll actually have the natural angle to get through to the black again. And I just am, yeah, I'm just far enough. So again, another shot where I can just roll it in. I'll do anything fancy, trying to spot these natural angles all the time. Yeah, just rolled up to the black nicely. Now this one, I can't just roll in. If I roll forward, it's no good. Let's have a look at the pink. No, too thin of an angle, so I'd lose the white. So I've got to screw back on and off the cushion here, get the white back out into open play. So I've got to move out the way of the white quickly here. So yeah, you've got to give it a little jabby effect there to get out the way. Okay, and then I'm back to, right, is there a shot where we can roll it? Yes, there is. Third one up, we can just roll it in. Yeah, got it nicely there. Now the black again, can't just roll it in because I would just leave the white over here, not very good. So yeah, I'm gonna play a, a stun screw shot. So call this like a, a stun. Just to widen the angle on the, the cue ball, just get it up into open play. Now I've got, yeah, I'm just looking again. Let's have a quick look. I've got two reds I can roll in actually. Um, I'm going to play the one above the pink just because it frees the pink spot a little bit. So I can just roll it, just roll it forward. Yeah, nothing fancy to do. 
Again, I can just roll forward, nothing fancy to do. And you can see that, yeah, as much as I can spot natural angles, then very good. You know, it's going to help me to not do anything fancy with the cue ball. This time I am going to do something a little bit differently. If I roll this red in, I'm just going to be a bit nasty in between the, the pink and the black. If I play the red, the lowest one, the one closest to the black, a little soft screw and I can leave a little angle on the black. If I don't leave too much angle, I'll be able to just roll the black in. Okay, so let's look at the angle. So actually, with this angle, if I just roll it in, it, the white is going to lose. I'm going to lose the white to the cushion slightly. So if I pop this red here, uh, sorry, if I pop the pink, sorry, here, this one, I can just roll it in and I'll just let the white run up the table. I've got one's back into the pocket where I'm standing, or the one below the blue there. Yep, yeah, we've got that nicely. So now again, just trying to, just running slightly out of position here, so you want to try and rescue things. Um, so I'm going to play this red and just, I am going to play like a soft stun over for the pink, just to try and rescue the white. If I just roll the ball in, I'm going to lose the white down here, not leaving an easy shot on a colour. So let's just play that little tiny bit of stun. Yeah, just stun over for that pink and that should help me kind of rescue the white a little bit. I'm in good position again now. So now I'm going to play a soft screw over. Both reds are available. Try and land on one of these reds nicely here. Yeah, and it's good. It's one of these sticky days today. Well, I don't know if you can hear my cue sticking on my hand a little bit. So this shot is good. I can just roll it in. Nothing to do. I'll leave a, a low black. Yeah, that's good. Now I'm just going to roll the white on and off the cushion for the red by the blue spot there. And if I go far enough, I would have had the other one that I could have just rolled in, but I'm okay here. So this one, little stun over. I can't just roll it, I would crash into the blue. So let's get a bit of stun. So a little bit of stun on, so it's like a soft screw. Yep, and then it means I'll just hold for a bulk colour nicely. Now, what can I play? I could play for this one here, but it's a nice one to leave till last. So I might even come off the cushion and just flick down to this red here. So let's just go down to it. Yeah, and if, I, if the watch slows down a bit, yeah, and it was just a nice one to, to get on, just so I can leave that red by the colours for last. So, use the rest for the first time, but I have got a shot where I can just roll it forward, so probably going to be on the pink or black here. Yeah. So we got choice of both, I think. And in the nature of the video, let's just roll the pink forward. Now, obviously, we've got to get up to that red now that's up in bulk. So, little stun over, and I'm trying to leave the angle where I can just have a look. I mean, the better shot is to get on the black here, so let's try and force it over. So, it has got to be a stun. Yeah, and I've managed to force it over there, yeah. And now we want to get, yeah, off the cushion and try and get up to, up to that red. So, this again has got to be a stun, unfortunately. And as long as I, yeah, just miss that middle pocket. Yeah, we nicely to this red. So I had a couple of shots there where I had to play them as stuns to just try and rescue the cube ball. This one, I can just roll it again, just on and off the cushion, out for the green. Yeah, just a nice bounce out. And I think, I mean, I could even here. Uh, I could play yellow for yellow. The green is a, a natural shot to bounce off, but the yellow is actually going to leave me perfect. So, of course, it's more difficult to roll everything in when you come to a, a colours clearance, just because, yeah, obviously, you're going to need stuns and screws just because of the nature of where the balls lie. But 
This is one where, yeah, just a little soft screw. I've got the yellow again. Yeah. So it was worth just taking the yellow there just so that I could get so good on the yellow again. And then here, just needs, yeah, soft little screw. Yeah, and we're okay. Again, just need to screw across the face here. So obviously, yeah, much more difficult to just roll everything, as I say. That's good. So this again is like a stun screw down for the blue. Trying to land it pretty, pretty good here. Again, just a little bit short here. Um, as I say, it's always difficult here when you're clearing the colours because you are going to need some of these little mini recovery shots here. So I'm going to play off the cushion and just try and get straighten the white up and get on the pink. Yeah, a little bit of side on there just to help it straighten up. And then, yeah, got to be a stun again. So keep nice and still. Yeah. And then, of course, this one. I can just roll it in. So, roll it in. So, when I edit the video, it's going to be interesting there to see how many shots I manage to just roll in. So, the moral of the story there, as a snooker player, you're trying to keep things as simple as possible. You'll often see players, when they're trying to improve their game and get better, they're sometimes complicating it by playing shots that they don't need to. They're playing screws and bits aside and all these complicated things. You want to improve your highest break there. If you're, try, if you're struggling on a lineup, maybe even in a frame, try to learn those natural angles. If you can just drop a ball in, that's the simplest way of potting it. So, as always, everybody, I really hope you found this video useful. Like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. For anyone that's interested in any personal one to one coaching sessions, I'm working on this very table all the time, helping players to improve their game. All my details are in the description box below, so if you have a look there, contact me, and I'd love to help you with your game. As always, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for next week's video. Cheers.